Hi everyone, it's Rachel and Sydney here. We're doing a recap, Days of Our Lives. So, let me just say first of all that it's been really hard to snag this girl because it's homecoming weekend. So, I got her. She's here. Yes, I'm here. She's here. Okay. So, the week started out with a bang. No. <laughs> Toy. <laughs> no, so, okay, so the first thing we see is um, Daniel surprising Jennifer with coffee and donuts. Muffins. Okay, muffins, whatever. So, who walks in? <laughs> <laughs> Jack. So, Jack walks in and he's like, hey, Jennifer, I got your coffee just how you like it. And Daniel's like, ugh. I was busting out. I thought it was so funny. It was so hilarious. I was like, wow, Jennifer. <laughs> I was like, yes. This is where it gets good. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was kind of all that happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they faced off a little bit, and Jennifer told them both to leave, and, you know, that was that. Yeah. So, we got kind of a little bit excited over nothing. Um, so, oh. Sammy, struggling with her new job. So, <laughs> is this ridiculous? I'm sorry. Like, I know a lot of people really like Rafe. I don't think he's, like, a bad character. I just think he's a tad bit boring. Maybe a little bit too goody two-shoes. But, um, I mean, they were, they were on the right track. Like, they had a little history thing going on. Remember... Like, somebody got murdered or something. It was his ex. And, and it, I totally blocked it out because, I mean, I don't know. I just thought even that was boring. But anyways, back to the point. So she falls asleep on the couch, right? Because she's so busy with work. Yeah. And kids and life and everything. And then she... Like every person has to struggle too. Yeah. I mean, she wakes up on the couch and he's like, oh, I already... Is it? Yeah. She's like, oh, my gosh. What day is it? And he's like, relax, relax. I have this, I have the kids in school. Everything's done. Oh, here's breakfast, by the way. Here's your clothes, ironed and put out for you. Here's your coffee, just how you like it. All you have to do is go get dressed. <laughs> like, I mean, that's an exaggeration, but it was like everything she said. It was like, oh gosh, today's, today's uh, Johnny's day to dress up. And he's like, it's all taken care of. Like, it's really? Like, can't anyone have that? I don't know. I mean, it's just a little too much. Like, Superman Rafe, I'm not into it. I'm, you know? I don't know. Are you? No. Should be Superman AG. <laughs> I have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Because we could go on to that forever. Oh, um, one thing I thought was kind of interesting... John actually tells Austin that he's innocent, which I thought was significant because so far he really hasn't said much yeah. about what's going on. He I mean, was, he, John, whenever he talks, he's so like, yeah, like there. It's awesome. <laughs> John. Yeah. Wait, what did I say? Did I say Jack? No, you said John, but oh. I'm just, I agree with you. That's why oh. I said that. <laughs> it's like my bad. No, he's like totally like, he's just, he's just so like, oh, intense. Rachel. Yeah, he's totally intense. Like, and what? Like, I'm innocent. When I'm talking, I'm just like, yeah, so. No, yeah, no, and no. Um, so, I mean, I just thought that was kind of significant because we really kind of were not really knowing where John's head's at with yeah. this whole thing. So. Um, so, you know, Carrie's his lawyer. Um, Austin is on the complete opposite side. So they're really awkward with each other. And Austin's like, I can't ignore the evidence, you know. Speaking of another weird voice, he's like, oh, Rusty. And like, <laughs> and like <laughs> so <laughs> he comes in and, and uh, um, no, he's looking at a file. And Carrie's like, John's case is like, you confidential. Know, yeah, la la la. How could you look at it? And he's like, Carrie, how could you think that I would look at your case files? Like with that voice, and it's just like, <laughs> like, who 
would do such a thing? Yeah, I mean, I don't. Th I don't know if I'm in the majority, but I like the old Austin better. You remember the old Austin, right? I don't. I mean, this is the original. Patrick Muldoon is actually the original Austin. But the one played after him was played by Austin Peck, which I actually prefer. And I just don't think this Austin can really cut it anymore. He's like, it doesn't even look like the character. I don't really too. like the couple in general. I think they're just like flat out. It's not really much going on. It's, they need a story. They need I mean, a storyline. They need something exciting. They don't really have it right now. I mean, her defending John and him being on the opposite side, it's not... It's not, like, something that makes me want to see it more. Yeah. You're not, like, dying to be like, ooh, I can't wait to see what happens with Carrie and Austin. You yeah. know? Like... <laughs> Isn't that how it used to be, though? Um, yeah. I have to say it was. Um, I think that... It was really fun to watch when there was like a Carrie, Lucas, Austin, Sammy thing going on. Um, and then EJ got thrown into the mix. That was like right when EJ got, you know, came to Salem. But I thought that was pretty exciting at that point. I don't know. Could be wrong. Anyway, um, so on the Bow and Hope front, they receive an order to stop looking into Alice's mystery account. That's like at the beginning of the week. Um, so they they get some info, but then they kind of hit a dead end. And then uh, towards the end of the week, we find out that Hope like Hope's like Brady, you're a genius, and like blah blah blah, and all this stuff. And then we're like, what? What? Why is he a genius? What do you find out? And then it's like. She's using the account to help somebody. <laughs> like, really? really? <laughs> like, like we didn't know that. We were so excited. We were like, oh, this is going to be so juicy. And then, nada. <laughs> I mean, yes, we know Alice is going to always help somebody because that's just how Alice is. But later <laughs> on... Uh, Bo and Hope get together with Maggie and Jennifer to try to get more answers. And all of a sudden, they find out that there's some mysterious letter that Alice was supposed to give to Maggie. Which she never did. No. You know what's in that letter, right? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. What? Um, what is, oh, Maggie has a child. That she doesn't know about. Do you know who it is? No. They don't know. She she didn't finish writing it when she died. It was just like, Maggie, you have a child. And I know that this is hard for you, but it's actually good in the long run. I know. Who? not telling you. That's not fair. This isn't a spoiler. It's a recap. Okay, well, you're going to tell me after this is over? I will tell you after this is over. I'm sure everybody on here already knows. Everybody's on Twitter. They already know all the spoilers. But anyways, I'm not saying it on here. So, um, let's see. We'll have to backtrack a little bit. Um, oh, so um, one little cute thing that happened this week. Maggie, Victor, Melanie, getting all gooey gushy over the wedding. Oh, Melanie runs in. With her pretty little dress and her perfect little body. And I love Melanie. I do. I love her. I love her Whenever so much. I see her, she's just like. I know. She'll be with like, her big son. Hey, she totally remembers you. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're the girl with the. Let's see yeah. if we can do a Melanie smile. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That was bad. That was horrible. See that. Yeah, let's not play this. I'm not back. playing this. <laughs> Apologize. Um. Okay, so <laughs> moving right along from that, <laughs> she's so nice though, and pretty, and yeah, gorgeous, she's and awesome. sweet, and I we love Molly. We're totally fans of Molly. Um. Ooh, how about when Jack busted in and pulled Chad off of Abby? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> I have a lot to say about he that. He was mad too. I was like, yeah, mm. I was like, oh my god! I was like, oh, he's gonna hurt him. I was like, he's gonna throw that window. 
<laughs> but Chad was so cool. He was just like, what? You know, yeah. like, he's so cute. Dude, because he's so hot. You know that him and Melanie are... Oh. My bad. No spoilers. I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Jack busts in, pulls Chad off of Abby. Abby's like, you're a liar and a jerk and blah, blah, blah. And I'm so sick of Abby yelling and whining. Am I the only one? Not really. Oh, yeah. Mean, <sighs> he doesn't have the right to do that. He doesn't, but she doesn't have the right to be disrespectful. That's her dad. No more, Abby. Grow up. Be a woman. Never mind. That's not classic. It's just rude. It's disrespectful. I mean, she has a right to, like, sit down and have a conversation with him, but you don't sit there and scream at well, your dad. Well, she's kind of, like, in a mode. Like, she's not, she doesn't know what she's doing. That was so awkward. I thought, like... He's just, like, rubbing her, and she's like, oh. Like, if that was my daughter, if that was you, I'd be like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not happening It was right just now. a massage. I don't care. And it must have felt really good because she was in a lot of stress. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so. That was John. Oh, Nate Berkus was on the show this week. That was cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was pretty cool. He did a good job. Um, so this whole storyline is like Maddie, um, Maddie and Sammy <laughs> versus Kate. Um, I love Madison. Oh my she's gosh, pretty awesome. I mean, I I still like Kate, like in her little blue thing, but. Like, like, I couldn't believe her. I was like, dang, like, they picked her well. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, so we find out that they have offices right across from each other, right? Um, of course. And then Nate Burkus is, like, on the Maddie Sammy side, and he goes and, like, is going to decorate her showroom and do all this stuff. And I can't wait to ha see how it really looks, though. Yeah, me That's too. That's going to be so sick. It'll be awesome. Um, so basically, Kate thinks that she steals a deal, but then Madison's like, uh-uh, <laughs> honey, no. I got you. I was like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that totally shocked me in the whole, like, week. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, so we finally. Katie's just like. <laughs> and Sammy's like, oh, you can't underestimate Kate. And she's like, oh, yes, I can. She was like, just trust me. So <laughs> that was kind of cool. Anyways, but that's really all that happened with that, mm. right? Let me look through my notes real quick. Yeah, that was it, kind of. So, um, towards the end of the week, Jennifer starts being nicer to Jack. Jack begs for another chance. Yada, yada, yada. I'm, I don't really like that couple either. <laughs> she is totally for Daniel and Jennifer. So, I sat her little butt down, and I made her look at YouTube videos of Jack and Jennifer back in the day. I was like... Girl, let me show you something. But even back then, like, he's just weird. He's not weird. He's like, he's just like, he's like, Duh! and then he's like, Duh! like, what the heck? Like, calm down. He's funny. No, he's not. Well, he's... she thought he was funny. Well, I don't know what she. You know, some of those videos were like awesome. Don't even lie. I don't like the way he talks. Okay, whatever. Sorry. Jacket. Hey, baby. Daniel. I don't like Daniel. You know I don't like Daniel, but I'd rather have her with Daniel than with Jack. Okay, whatever. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Okay. And you haven't been watching as long as I have, so. Anyways. Ooh, EJ and Abe. Face off in the debate. I it was, was like, like this. <laughs> Where's the piece of paper? No, I went. Okay, I was well, like, it was just like. No, because, um, the and, um, yeah, the crimes that have been going on in Salem. I was just like, oh, my And then my Abe, gosh. I thought Abe had him when he was like, well, if you want the crime rate lowered, then why don't you and your family move out of Salem? I know. It was like, <gasps> I was <gasps> like, <"Bye." laughs> He uh, got you. And, and then, then he comes back, he's like, I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> It was crazy. I was all waiting for you to say something really cool. I was like, what did he say? I forgot. And you're all, I don't know. 
<laughs> but anyways, at towards the end, I was just like, dang, Abe, you got smoked. You got hammered. You, everyone apparently on like Twitter or whatever. The oh, yeah. Was. They're like, everybody started tweeting. And even Lexi was like, and Lexi's like I thought you won, but you at the really end, did. when he brought up John. Yeah. That was awesome. I was like, Abe, you I'm got some so sorry. I never even knew he was the mayor. Apparently, he's not doing a good enough job. <laughs> sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I still love him. I love Abe. But not as much as EJ. No. no. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. Austin, towards the end of the week, he shows Rafe some evidence of John being a bad boy. Remember? No. It's a picture. He's holding a phone. Oh, and he's, and he's like, like, yeah, he's looking all like shady. Serious. Like he's like looking at the phone and he's like. So I don't understand that at all. Basically, um, like I just, I obviously I understand what's going on, but like, you know, yeah, I mean, we don't obviously know, but the thing is, is they keep showing these flashbacks of, you know, John up to something yeah, I don't, and it's nothing good. So, I mean, maybe Austin's right. Maybe he did do it, but, um, so basically they go to the townhouse with the evidence. Um, John and Marlena are there. And they ask John to hand over his computer and his phone. And lo and behold, it got stolen. It got oh stolen. Oh, my gosh. I so wonder how that happened. Basically, the bottom line, John is accusing Stefano of setting him up. It's, but I think it may be possible now that I think about it. Because why was EJ like, oh, John's going to um, help my case or whatever? Maybe. You know? I don't know. So maybe they all set it up to get him the election. <clears throat> but we're at 17 minutes, know, so let's wrap it, it up. Um, okay, so Daniel gets uh, Daniel goes to Victor. <laughs> this was so hilarious, this whole conversation. I wish I would have written down more quotes because it was so funny. The conversation between Daniel and Victor when, you know, he's trying to, like, pump him for information about Jennifer and Jack, and he's, like, pacing, and Victor's like, would you sit down at least? I feel like I'm at Wimbledon. <laughs> it was so funny. And then there was another comment, like, isn't this your third marriage? And he's like, it's my third wife. I stopped counting the marriages. And <laughs> I mean, this whole conversation, I was just rolling. It was hilarious. So, um... After that, Victor kind of asked Maggie to help convince Jennifer to stay with Daniel and not Jack. And Maggie's like, oh, I always want marriages to work. How could you? What are you thinking? <laughs> Maggie's so like, Dramatic. do not ask me to do anything bad ever. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, basically Jennifer agrees to go on a date with Daniel. They they go on a date. They talk about Jack. She admits she's confused. And she admits she still loves Jack. No. Heart. Um, and then the very last thing we see is Marlena going to Stefano's house. Dun, dun, dun. Stefano. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it. It was fun talking to you guys. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.